You read this. Can I have whiskey? After you read it. My dear brother Al. That's me. It's been a long winter here. We don't know how much we miss you. I'm planning to start work in the North Pasture if we can afford it. My brother's poor. Can't afford the price of hayseed. And before I start the planting, I'm going to need a new mayor. Old Bessie can't pull so good no more. There are more folks out here now than there was last year. We even got some new neighbors just two miles away, and that eases the loneliness some. Annie has somebody to visit with now, trade recipes and the like, and that makes her real happy. How's your kids? I bet Kathy's real grown up by now. Be sure to give her a kiss from me. Al, don't say anything. That ends up about it. taking me. Friend, I'm taking you to the judge. It won't take long to get there. But I haven't done anything. Pal, I don't think the federal government will agree. But what am I accused of? Everybody knows that, Flanagan. The story's old, so why fight it? If you still don't know what I mean, you'll find out when we get to Dixon. But it don't do no good asking all those questions. So start moving.
sure it's him. Yeah, it's him. Ain't a bit of nothing. I want something to drink. And I want a clean bed for a while. It'll cost you a dollar. A dollar a day, and that's an advance. That's right. Dead men don't pay. Here, you better sign the register. Mr. Flanagan. We don't want men like you here. You come from good stock and everyone knows it. But it won't do any good pretending we don't know what kind of man you turned into today. You must have seen that sign out there with your picture on it. The army's still after you for desertion. Better get out, Davy Flanagan. We just ain't about to harbor war criminals like you. Let's hope they hang you because you don't even deserve the mercy of getting shot. Is there anyone else who prefers that I leave town? Yeah, we do. Finish that whiskey, Flanagan, and get out of town. You boys have forgotten what hospitality is all about. We ain't hospitable to deserters. And if I don't leave here, mister? Let's just say we're insisting on it. See that clock? Now, when it strikes 12 o'clock, you're going to be dead. Unless you want to preserve your filthy skin and get moving. Take my advice, pal. Get out of here now. Uh-huh.
Daisy, you can't. You've had enough. A little bit. Please, Clay. Much more of this and you'll die. Clay, don't take it away. Please give it Lisa. to me. Lisa! Hack it. I'd like to talk to you, Clay, alone. Hmm. Mrs. Hackett, go to your room. What is it, Kelly? Davy Flanagan's back. So Flanagan's back. What of it? You and Lisa will have to leave town. Kellogg, you don't frighten me. Mm-hmm. But you're going to leave anyway. I am? I want you to leave. I'm afraid for Lisa. It's for your own good. I've helped you before, but this time it would help if you do things my way. If you kill him, Lisa will never forgive you. Who's out there? Don't tell me you're afraid of a woman, Davy Flanagan. Not exactly. Maybe this ain't such a friendly place, huh? What are they saying? Oh, lots of things. That you came back for a woman. That you have a big price on your head. Because you're a deserter. They say they're going to kill you. And you came to tell me. I just wanted to be friendly. Do you mind? <laughs> it's not every day somebody like you comes to town. I want to make sure you're going to remember me. She said, what's a girl like you doing in this place? So I looked straight at her and I said, give me the best pair you got. Uh-huh. For someone that's lost his memory, you sure are doing all right. <laughs> the way some people put on airs. She didn't fool me. I knew her when she worked Doxy Street. Put your gun down, Davy. It's me. I don't know you. Davy. It's Sam. Sam Kellogg. I couldn't have changed that much. I can't say. And you have forgotten. The effect of a head injury. Because of that bullet, the past has no meaning. It begins in a white room of dying soldiers. Somehow I got away. 
But I've been living another kind of death. Oh, you'll get well. This is your house. Your wife. You haven't forgotten Lisa. If you really are my friend, then you've got to help me. Why is it that... Why is it everybody in town is afraid of me? You were a bounty killer. I wouldn't say it was the most pleasant source of income a man might want to choose. Morally, it seems we want to judge other people only because of our own points of view. Anyway, the war broke out and you joined up. But what then? Well, you were accused of many things. That you'd decided to fight for the South, that you'd deserted the North. After which, they named you camp commander of a war prison in Texas. But you're not a deserter. <laughs> I know you better. No, you couldn't do it. We'll find proof to present at a trial. The minute that I rode in here today, they tried to kill me. Whose men were they? Please try to understand, Davy. Sometimes the war creates absurd situations. That you know. What do you mean? Your wife is remarried to a certain Clay Hackett. He came here after the war, and no one knows anything of his background. I'd heard, of course, he was part of the band of Crazy Joe. But while they were here, the lies were simple and quiet. And where are they now? They've gone away. I was afraid. For you, Hackett, and Lisa, and frankly, you still make me somewhat afraid. I won't have violence, not in my town. Then those four who were after me were Hackett's men. I don't know. I only know he's not willing to risk losing Lisa. Anyway, now, I'm going to see that you find a way to clear your name. You'll have to try to keep out of sight for a few days until I'm able to gather the proof we'll need. If you ask me, the safest place is my house. It's on the hilltop, right beside the church. Yes, I think that's the best thing. But you'd better go alone. You shouldn't be seen with me. How do I know I can trust you? You have no alternative. Please, you need my help. You have to trust me. You know that. Now go. Far enough. So you're still pumping lead, Davy. Get moving. Well, you ain't gonna need a gun no more. cards and I like what I see. And I says, I'll raise you $2. What did he do? I won with three kings. I was going to win it back tonight if it hadn't been for this. I'll be glad to get rid of him. Sure got a record behind him. As soon as we get him to Fort Wilson, let's go. I don't want to stay too long. Everybody will be breathing easier in Dixon after this is over. Never seen folks so percolated. Even Hackett was scared enough to run off to God only knows where. I figure he's making tracks for Goldfield. Boy, you can bet on it. I say he's on his way to join up with Crazy Joe. I don't seem right to take Lisa. What do you think he'd do, leave her in Dixon? Not him. He won't let her out of his sight. Yeah, but a hellhole like Goldfield. I wouldn't take my mother-in-law there. Send my mother-in-law in there, and she'd have him singing hymns in an hour. <sighs> hey, how long before we get there? Huh? Uh, what'd you say, boy? I said, how long before we get to Fort Wilson? Oh, hell, we got a ways to go yet. Uh, We're only about uh, halfway there. What's your hurry, boy? We got all the time in the world. Yeah. They gonna hang Flanagan right away? Or will he get a trial? He gets a trial like everybody else. 
No, no, thank you. Hey, Frank, what are you smoking at? Fomance? Uh, if I'm smoking my shoes, what's it to you? Hey, what's he done in here? Try me. Let me have the key. That's it. Get inside there. Davey, you're only making things worse. Maybe for you. I'm not ready he for... He doesn't want you. I do. Did anyone see you come in? You needn't worry. Your reputation is safe. Let's go in. Well? Sit down. So they decided to let you go? No, I was the one who decided that. My future was just about to be played with. Mm. You've only made matters much worse for yourself. Don't you see how your running away looks like an admission of guilt? It'll be difficult for me to help you. Cat and mouse were playing, huh? This game's no fun for me. Come on. I don't think I understand. The sheriff and his cousins were waiting right outside that house. I walked right into it. And the girl? That was your idea. They were going to a lot of bother. What do you want from me? That's very unfair of you. Yet, I can't blame you. You're not in any condition to be seeing things very clearly. Well, then. Why don't you start putting the pieces together? There is someone at fault, David. I've tried to avoid saying this, and I've tried to keep this from happening. But now I have no choice. David, we've all of us done things in the war that are better forgotten. I've forgotten everything. May God forgive me for what I'm going to say. Hackett was the commandant of the prison camp. When the soldiers from the north began coming, well, it seems that all discipline broke and there was a revolt against him. Hackett took advantage of the confusion and shot you as you were escaping. They found nothing? How'd he get away? To avoid capture, he took your uniform and fled into the woods with your identification. Then why is everything about the truth unknown now? I didn't have any proof. And besides that, the truth 
was of interest to nobody. Just remember, everyone thought you were dead. And now that the dead's come back, you won't mind if I have you repeat all this in front of Hackett. Uh -huh. I'll do that for you. But who knows where he is? I'll tell you that. That's insane. He'll shoot you the minute he sees you. Or how will you recognize him when you see him? I'll leave that to you. By having him there to help me. You will be my memory, Kellogg. You can't cross this bridge. It won't be safe. Go ahead. If it holds you, it shouldn't mean. And suppose it doesn't. You worry about that. Go on. again. The horse was frightened. Really? Just think, if I hadn't have thought of loosening the cinch on that saddle, who knows where he would have gotten to by now. Look, I'm afraid this whole business is no affair of mine. Thank you. Your honesty, my friend, is almost beautiful. I'm fed up. I'm friends with you, but this is just insane. My old friend Kellogg. Find the horses. Go on, move. You're plumb crazy, Flanagan. 
You ever think why Hackett went to Goldfield hideout? Why is he going there? Goldfield's where he's meeting Crazy Joe. You're aware they won't treat us like very old friends. They'll shoot at us the minute they see us. More than likely. For you, it's a chance of life or death. But I'm already dead. And the way everything is now, I don't have much reason for living. Let's go. Can't go on, Davy. He's gone lame. Pity. Better dismount, Kellogg. I'm real sorry, but we'll make out all right. One thing. Try to keep the pace. to travel on foot. Maybe you can buy yourself a horse from those men down there. Come on. It's hopeless. It's just no good. I have no money. I got the money. Get the gold field tonight, they're gonna be kind of thirsty. Let them wait. We gotta rest the horses. The longer they wait for the whiskey, the more they'll <laughs> pay for it. <laughs> hey, somebody's there. Want to sell us a horse? Our horses are not for sale, unless you pay what they're worth. Well? Just $20. He can afford it at that price. He can even pay a lot more. My choice? Take what you want, but pay first. Give me the light one there. If I were you, I wouldn't take that horse, senor. I'd leave him here. He's got a bad temper. I'm not worried about it. But I only meant that... I only meant that it's been stolen. Where well, I'm going, friend, I don't care. Uh, will you find your way? I'll find it. Come on, Kellogg.
No. Later. Picked a bad time, Kellogg. You wouldn't have gotten very far.
Where do you think you're going? Goldfield. I've got an agent from Pinkerton waiting for me. Maybe that's true, fellow. Only I doubt if a federal agent can get near there. And if you're lying, man, you ain't going to get there either. I've got to go there. Go on. Jack, you see to it that this here gentleman feels at home. All right. Come on. Sit over there. Sit down. Look at me like that. Look, yes. boys. Look hard. That's the last drop of mash in all of Goldfield. How much did you give me for this little old last drop of old fashioned dog juice? One dollar. A dollar and a half. Two dollars for me. Two and a half. Three dollars. You all finished bidding, boys? It's going once. It's going twice. It's going gone. Where'd you steal that money Get from? Get it here. Pay me $3. There you are. Hey, uh. <laughs> Get out of here. Put in the wheel. Hey, what was the number Don't bother me, pal. All right, fella, come on. Place your bets, boy. Put that money down. Round she goes. Zero. The house takes off. All right, how many zeros are that with? Asa, there's only two zeros. Just like every other roulette wheel in the whole world. I thought so. Just wanted to make sure. Let's have score. Batten's open, gentlemen. The odds are two to five in favor of Black Bob. You'll show you. Oh, he ain't got a chance. Oh, oh, it's going to be a great match. Put your best in now. Hey, let me in there. I make all bets in this place on any odds. Right here. That's ten. Here's my hey, that guy isn't gonna. Hey, thank you. I think he's Wait. changing the odds. Well, thanks. That's another ten dollars. I've been taking my back. I've more. Take your odds. I give two to five. Let me take this. Oh no, you don't put he's that in the back. Oh. You better let go. You have to start it. Yeah. 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 That's your no good bastard! I say shut up! You know, my men can cause more damn commotion than herd mules. They're almost too jittery. But now that we're here together, it'll be like old times again, won't it, Clay? No, Crazy Joe. I won't be able to hold up here with the boys. I ain't alone no more. Yeah, you got your wife with you. I've been wondering if we're ever going to see that little gal here. We could use a little company. Time was when you used to share everything with me, Clay. Now, that's all changed. What's mine stays mine. You might have told me all I know, but I ain't your boy now. Amadeo's wagon. What the hell are you doing with it? Who are you? Where are you headed for? You just here to stop wagons all day? Ain't you boys got anything better to do? In Goldfield, they're waiting for whiskey, and I'm bringing it. 
How do we know that? How do we know he ain't some kind of federal agent? I can prove it. Want... Easy. You boys aren't afraid of a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Taste it. <laughs> Shoot They're hard man to beat. <laughs> Crazy Joe can't shoot no more like you, Clay. Hey, listen, boss, I wouldn't try it. Hackett's liable to walk in. I want him to come in. He don't bother me. I figure it's about time Clay Hackett was taught a lesson. Clay a lot of fine things, and for everything I taught him, I kept two more to myself. I warned him not to come near my wife. He shouldn't have tried. If you're worried about who's boss now, don't you worry, I am. And anyone who doesn't like it, now's your chance to speak. Well, if you want my opinion, Joe was finished already. Yeah, Joe was getting too old. Listen here, I think we ought to follow the old law. That is, if we can get the big man, the job's yours. Yeah, and who asked you, old man? Just shut your mouth. Ain't I been next in line to Crazy Joe? Yeah, that's right. And when Joe was drunk, who made all the big decisions? I want to know. Everyone knows it was you. And then some new fellow walks in, and what happens? Joe rapes his wife, and he figures he can take over. All right, Dirty. 
Let's go outside and we'll find out if you're really as good as you say. You should be willing to take bets on that, too. I want to see some money on the table. You fighting? Who's on my side? You got something else to say? Look at you, Snake, spoiling to fight. I'm afraid you've had more than enough luck, and you know what to do with. Are we gonna fight, boys? Or do we bust out of this filthy bootlick of town? In hey, just a minute, Dirty. You better drop your gun belts. You won't be needing them, I don't think, till you get out of this place. Let's go. Am I seeing things dirty? Or is that Armadeo's wagon there, huh? Where the hell are they? That ain't important as long as they brought us the whiskey. Saludos, amigos. You can all have some whiskey if you can pay for it. Who are you? I never saw you with Amadeo. Amadeo managed to get in the way of a bullet last night. So I inherited the stock. I imagine you're the chief here, or am I wrong? I would be chief if it weren't for that snake in there. We were promised rifles and ammunition. I know. I brought plenty there inside. Give me the rifles, what you paid for them, I swear I'll offer you double. I'll give you your money in an hour. <laughs> you have a face that inspires trust, you know. For double money, what have I got to lose? Lisa, you've got to stay here and you know it. I can't. Lisa, tell me why you're doing this. Oh, I wish I were dead. I'd be free. You're just tired. You shouldn't talk that way, believe me. We'll soon go away. Just give me a chance to get some money. Here, I'm trusted. Don't worry, it'll be all right. That's what you said when we left Dixon. Mighty fine. Took practice. That's a great place for shooting. Who are you? 
It was sent by Amadeo with a load of whiskey and ammunition. Those men didn't feel much like paying for it, and they got kind of upset. The rest you know. Stranger, you found the most grateful individual in Goldfield. Well, I'm Clay Hackett. And you? Me? Amadeo's name for me was Killer. <laughs> well, he's better at naming people than getting good whiskey. No, I'm puzzled. About what? You seem almost intelligent. I do. You need money? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm surprised you're afraid of my proposition. I'm no fool. You bust out, and I get no money even though I let you get away from here. I've already searched you. You got nothing on you. Funny. <laughs> you really checked well. <laughs> Sure, you checked everything. What about the lining of my coat? Mighty funny. Have a big smile. I got two gold teeth. Let me have a bottle. And only silver. I'll trust you next time. Hmm. Ten dollars. Ten dollars for this bath water? It ain't worth a buck. Then you can have this for nothing. What's going on here? Nothing much. Didn't like the taste of the whiskey. Mind if we try it? Yeah, why don't we? Sit down. Looks like vinegar, this whiskey. That's all I have. Tell me, how'd you get past my boys today? Well, I didn't believe my story. I'm afraid I got a little too angry. Angry? I think you better join our band. Then you won't have to shoot at us. I might, you know. Bart, better take two men to the canyon. Lisa, what you doing down here? I want you to meet my wife. To bed. But you won't let me sleep, will you? I'm sure you understand. You see, I leave her alone a lot.
Lisa. Mrs. Hackett. There never was any Mrs. Hackett. Well, then, do you know Lisa Flanagan? Oh, yes. But she's dead, I'm afraid. It's Davy, Lisa. Davy Flanagan. Help me remember. Lisa. It's important. You've got to help me, do you hear? I can't. The past had best be forgotten. Do you want any? This face and these hands. Very touching. <gasps> I told you, Clay. You idiot! You could have told me. Why didn't you tell me he was your husband? There's no time. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Man, $500 for you if you bring back Flanagan. He's a dirty federal agent. $500 to anybody who brings him back alive. Hey, you listen to me. You ain't Dixon now. And I don't care whether you get him alive or dead. Now, get at it. You mind explaining why you wanted to ruin my shot? Don't you know you could have killed Lisa? You're better at using big words than you are at firing a gun. Tell me, what do you want him alive for? I have an account to settle with him. After that, you can have him.
scene or the men are dead. able to stop it. And you, you're not afraid? Well, go after him, Kellogg. Please, is your wife, not mine. And it would appear that Davy has his own plans for her. Hackett? I'll go with you.
Welcome, Flanagan. We were waiting for you. Let me have him. Come on down, Hackett. Ah, you okay, Davy boy? Here, let me give you a hand. Huh, easy now. You made a mistake by not dying before, Flanagan. You shouldn't have tried to push your luck. No, wait a minute. I don't want you to deprive me of the satisfaction. Now, I've a score to settle with David. You lost your memory. It's a shame you don't know who Sam Kellogg really is. I'm going to have to teach you all over again. Sam Kellogg's a man nobody raises a hand against. A man who strikes, but is never struck. Understand? Or do I have to explain? Like this. Sam Kellogg. Captain Kellogg. Commandant of the Southern Prison Camp. Everything you told me was true. Except it was you, not Hackett. He thought you killed me and that it would all end that night. Then you heard I was still alive. You had to find somebody who would get rid of me easily. You tried Hackett. But when he did in my face, in that moment, I knew he lied. And you did everything to play us one against the other. You know, I'm glad I didn't have to kill you at that. You lousy coward. I'll break your back. What do you care about this whole business? I had to tell him something. What the devil does it matter? Kill him now and the whole story will be finished forever. It'll finish only when you've managed to mount your damn horse and pull out. Davy Flanagan, I don't want to kill you, but I will to protect Lisa. You shouldn't have come back, Flanagan. I have no choice now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Flanagan? Where are you? Davy? Come on out and get it over with. Davy! It's useless to hide, because I'm going to find you. You'll bleed to death anyway. You don't want to die like that. Let me do it, Davy. Let me finish you with one gentle bullet. <laughs> <laughs> 